All right. This one is the cow horn. Uh, it's of the smooth stem. There's no fur on it. The leaves seem to be a little more broad in size. Uh, I won't really won't really be able to tell until the plant uh, begins to mature a little bit more, so I can give you an idea if it's a broad leaf or a narrow leaf. Um, but this one appears to be more of a broadleaf, like the cane pepper. Uh, here's a pepper coming out. And here's a picture of the flower. It's just a normal white flower type. Okay, not a yellow. It's not small. Give you an idea what you're looking at. It's a nice very well developed stem on this particular plant I thought this one wasn't going to make it you can see um, you can see I have all these little ones coming up next to it because I wasn't sure this was going to make it or none of these plants actually you know any any of my pepper plants I didn't think were going to make it because I started them in January and when I put them out here they were all stunted they weren't doing anything. In fact, a bunch of them died because I didn't hard them off and they burned out. And so, um, some some failure there, but uh, they they came back quite well. I, I'm actually pretty shocked. So now I got all these other pepper plants like suckers. I'm not sure what to do with them. If I should just yank them uh, or what to do. I, I it's a done deal now, you know. But anyway, this is the cowhorn pepper, and this plant's about uh, almost two feet, probably around two feet. It's about two feet tall. And what else can I say about it? I'll give you a little closer look at the at the flower. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the black parts on the stem, and uh, cowhorn pepper.